Hello everyone, this is Billy. Hi everyone, this is Stephen. And welcome to our second instructional video about how to approach an IELTS speaking test. In this second video, we're going to be looking at the second thing you shouldn't do while taking the IELTS speaking test. Okay, so the second one is this one. I want you to tell me about a person who has influenced you in your life, who they are and how they influenced you. So I'm going to tell you uh, the person who has influenced uh, my life and I'm going to tell you who they are, who this person is. And first, uh, let me introduce this person first. So this person... Thank you, your time is up. So is it totally bad to spend us uh, some time for, you know, repeating the question? Well, the problem is the examiner knows the question. So mm -hmm. if you spend a lot of time, and remember you only have two minutes, mm. rewording the question, you're losing time when you should be answering the question. Mm. So it's okay to briefly mention, I'm going to introduce this, and then give your answer. Mm, okay. So we can just paraphrase or reword mm. the question. That would be the best way, right? Exactly. Mm -hmm. And for this question specifically, uh, what would be the best way to prepare this kind of question? Like talk mm. about one person. Okay, because many of these tasks ask you to describe and talk about uh, someone who's been important in mm -hmm. some way. So if you start to talk about someone you don't know, like a celebrity or a superhero, you're very quickly going to run out of things to say. Right. So it's much better to think about who's important to me in my life, like mm -hmm. a parent or a sister or a friend or a teacher. It's much easier to talk about someone you know than right. someone you don't know. Because like these, per these people are the people who've, who I've actually met, right? Yeah, you've met them and they have had some influence in your life. So right. you're simply talking about something you know. Mm -hmm. uh, and specifically with task two, you have a minute to write down some notes. Mm. So always think about what jogs your memory to the next thing. So mm -hmm. for example, in your case, teacher, what did she teach? When did I know her? What did she do for me? How did that help me? And very mm. quickly, you'll be able to talk about uh, these people without worrying or making mistakes. Hmm, okay. So for the speaking test, uh, it is okay to spend some time uh, for the question, but uh, it's, it's better to just reword the question and just say it briefly, right? Yeah, so just uh, maybe quickly introduce what you're going to say and then say it mm -hmm. and actually talk and give good examples. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And for this kind of question, uh, talk about a person who I've actually met. <laughs> yes, someone best. important in your life. So much easier. Okay, we should remember that. Mm -hmm. So based on the explanation, we're going to take a look at the good example. So let's take a look. I want you to tell me about a person who has influenced you in your life who they are and how they influenced you. Oh, so this person is my ethics teacher and she was actually my homeroom teacher in my middle school. So she encouraged me a lot and she always listened carefully to me. So that really helps me to enjoy my student life at middle school and that helps me to become very confident uh, during my student life. And that helped me become more confident uh, when I go to high school okay. because of her. Very good. So do you still keep in touch with her? Yeah, sure. Uh, I actually meet her uh, like once a month. Oh, fantastic. So we've been talking about the second thing to avoid while having an IELTS speaking test. We'll be back soon with the next tip to help you approach the speaking test in the best possible way. Okay, I'll see you next time. Bye. Bye-bye.